She was on a YouTube video. She never told me this. You, I, 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 you're on speaker. You're on speaker now, by the way. But that's weird. That's weird. That you never told me this. I'm just gonna stream, guys. That's so stupid. Everyone, have a good night. Peace. Well, guys, I'm feeling a little bit goofy today. Personally, I feel like I do a pretty good job of not jumping to make a video about every single clip that goes viral on Twitter. Today, I'm breaking my rule. Yesterday, I saw a tweet about some streamer drama that was so stupid that it actually kind of caught me off guard. Now, when it comes to the world of internet streaming, I feel like the drama is just constant. Like, seriously, whether it's Twitch or Kick, there's always some streamer going after another or something going on in the community of a streamer. It seems like streaming platforms are going through like the 2016 phase that YouTube had, where everything is just drama. And while most internet drama as a whole tends to be pretty stupid, what we're going to be looking at today is a step up from what we're used to. So the tweet was about a kick streamer named Yuri who was streaming the other day when he was sent a video of his girlfriend that apparently he did not know about. It was a video on YouTube uploaded almost 10 years ago of her and two friends making sort of like a vlog, I guess, on a channel that the three of them made together. It was the only video they ever made, and it was basically just them talking about nothing for five minutes. And seeing this video sent this streamer into basically a little bit of a mini meltdown. He starts going on about how he can't believe that she lied to him. He calls her on stream and starts questioning her. It gets very awkward, it gets very uncomfortable, and it also gets very entertaining. So I figured, why not interject into these people's relationship like a true American internet user and bring the entertainment to you guys. So that's exactly what I've done. Let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. All right, hold on. Let's get straight into this one right here. <laughs> this is interesting. I've never seen this. Oh my god. Hey guys. It's Riley. Oh my god. Okay. Riley never told me about this, bro. All right. So I feel like you can already see the frustration building in this guy's face. It's going to get worse. Okay. But I would like to give this guy a bit of credit. Maybe, I guess. Not sure if that's the right word. But I did check out his kick channel and he has since streamed basically an apology. Critical made a video on this last night and he watched that and kind of addressed it. And he seemed to kind of own up to it. But honestly, I feel like that's probably just damage control. I've been reading up on the lore of this guy, and apparently this is not the first time he's done something kind of questionable in regards to how he treats his girlfriend. So, you know, not really sure what to think. Damn, she hiding stuff from me? I, bro, she never told me about this. I'm surprised. I'm like, what the fuck? I never heard about I thought she would tell me something like this. She was on a YouTube video? She never told me this? I feel like this is such a strange thing to say, and it's something that you wouldn't say unless you're kind of unaware of how abnormally jealous you might be getting. Saying she's been in a YouTube video, like it's something that someone would need to disclose when they first meet you. Because at least to me, and maybe this is just because I've always enjoyed YouTube, I feel like everybody's been in at least one YouTube video at some point. Really? Yeah, how are you not, how are you not gonna tell me you, you did, you did... Oh, so convenient. Cool. <laughs> you, I, 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 you're on speaker. You're on speaker now, by the way. But that's weird. That's weird that you never told me this. I literally forgot about that. I don't know how they found that. I do. I totally forgot about that. Interesting. You could watch it. I don't. Care. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, like, I don't. I don't. I don't care. I just. I. I know how. I know how you would react if you like if the chat donated something like this. You'd be like, "Why wouldn't you tell me this?" Blah blah. Whatever. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear. Like. I would not hear the end of this. So it's kind of funny. There has never been a single human on the planet who uses the phrase "it's kind of funny" and meant that they actually find the situation kind of funny. Now look, if he's actually in a relationship where if the roles were reversed, his girlfriend would be pissed off. I could understand being like, "Well, this is kind of unfair." But as this video progresses. Is, I think it's going to become kind of clear that that's not what the situation is. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't tell me this. What do you mean, thanks? I'm, I'm surprised you never told me this. This is crazy. I got to find this out from the chat. Thank okay, thanks for embarrassing me. That's This is really embarrassing. Thanks. It's embarrassing for her, not me. It's embarrassing for me to watch a video and be like, oh, yo, chat, i never seen this before. Let's check this out. Okay, well, dude, you know you could just, like, not watch the video if this is embarrassing for you. You have the power to not watch a video on your live stream. I know, kind of crazy. They're going to have a discussion later about how apparently they talked a long time ago and Riley said she's never done YouTube before, and that appears to be the reasoning he's so mad about this. Which, like, look, if this channel had, like, 40 uploads or or something. I could understand thinking that's kind of a weird thing to lie about. Is it something to get 
get mad over? No, but I can understand being like, well, that's a weird thing to not disclose on purpose. But this channel has one upload. This was a one-off thing. This seems pretty easy to forget about. I feel a type of way right now. How are you not going to tell me that, bro? What the fuck? That's weird, dude. All right, whatever. I come in and explain myself, which is really fucking annoying. Why wouldn't you tell me about that? I, first of all, I totally forgot about that. You can That's look convenient. At you can look you at me. You've gotten mad at me for time for like things popping up and you're like, oh, how how would you how would you not Mary, tell me this before? I blah, blah, really blah. truly honestly to God forgot about that because it was so long ago. We never made it a serious thing. We filmed like two things. We started Ten Talks together and we like talked about being I on a podcast and, I, and you're like, I've never done, I've podcast. never done anything like this before. That wasn't so a it's podcast. like people are saying like, oh Yuri, why are you making a big deal? I don't, What's a, big, what's a big deal is it feels like I've been lied to. That's what it feels oh, like. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. This is such a crazy line of thinking to me because even if she didn't forget about this video, I feel like her answer would still stand. So it sounds like they started a podcast together and he asked her if she's ever done anything like this before. I feel like if you were in her shoes and this video popped up in your mind, no would still be the correct answer. Making a one-off, unedited, five-minute long video with you and your friends sitting on a couch is not the same as starting a weekly podcast where you interview people and talk about things going on in the world. I mean, that's really a completely different thing. I mean, this is like if someone wanted to join a football team you owned, you ask if they've ever played football before, they say no, and then you get mad because you found out later that they used to play catch with their dad when they were seven. It's not the same. Okay. I wasn't lying to you. I genuinely forgot about it because it was never a serious thing. I don't even know who those people are. You that's my friend me. Karina. Cool. And that's my friend Dalton, my gay friend Dalton. You could clearly he, see yeah, he, yeah, obviously, but I'm, I'm glad I'm learning this through someone in the chat four years later into our relationship. I don't even know how they fucking found that. I don't even know that that was out there. So you were lying on the fact that I would not find that out. How am I lying? No, I'm saying you were lying on the fact that I would not Why find is it that a big out. Dude, this is actually insane. Lying on the fact that you would never find out? What does that mean? Is that supposed to mean she was betting that you would never find that video, so she lied to you because she thought it wouldn't matter? That's crazy crazy. I don't think she's saying that I don't know how you found that or I can't believe you found that like she's been caught, like she's upset that you found it. I think she's just surprised because she forgot about it. You can't disclose things you don't remember. If this is getting you this worked up, just wait until you find out that she probably gave a guy a pencil in high school and she's never told you about it. This is a pretty bad look. Deal, I'm it's not, it's but, you're, stupid video. but you're like, oh, I can't believe you found that. I, you no, would, you, should, you should have never when, seen that. When did I ever say that? <laughs> when did I say that at uh, all? I never said that. I just said, can you not play that? Because it's an embarrassing video. I'm literally in high school. Like, that's awkward and embarrassing. Had I known about it, I would have been like, oh, this is the video Riley I talked about. I forgot. I don't even know that it's on the internet, Yuri. And you're just, like, not believing me. And it's really I sad. Do, I, I do believe you, I guess. But it's like... It's... <laughs> I don't understand how, like, you, like, just don't remember, like, oh, yeah, we did this thing before. I've well, you heard it here first, folks. If your partner does not remember every single thing that they've ever done throughout their entire life, they're a liar. Look, like I said, if this channel had, like, 40 uploads, I could understand him being like, there's no way you didn't remember this. But this was one video. There have genuinely been times where I'm going through my channel and I see a video I made and I'm like, when did I make that? Somebody forgetting something they did once, like, nine years ago is really not that unbelievable man not thinking it's not like, it's not, it's not it like, wasn't a serious i was never I on know, a podcast okay. i was never I doing it. youtube like that i made a video before on youtube Bruh. I'm just gonna stream, guys. That's so stupid. Everyone, have a good night. Peace. So that's where the stream ends, and I feel like it's pretty crazy to be willing to out yourself like this while you're live. If you're perfectly okay displaying this kind of behavior while hundreds of people are watching, it's gotta be worse behind the scenes. Not exactly a good look, Yuri. Well, guys, what do you think? Is this grounds for divorce if you found out that your spouse uploaded a YouTube video 10 years ago and had the gall to never tell you about it? Look, based off this guy's apology stream, he said that he was just wasting and overreacted. He seemed to sort of take accountability, but again, like I said, this does not appear to be the first time something like this has happened on one of his streams, so it's kind of hard to take that seriously. Hopefully, there are no more YouTube videos to discover, or I fear that this beautiful relationship might be coming to an end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Thank you.